Your face is. Your mom's face is. She's your mom too. Damn it. Good evening, Stephanie. It is Tuesday, December 30th. Mark Wark, Park and Parker, 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 Mark Wark, Park and Parker. So yes, I did make it home, safe and sound. And as you heard, since you answered the phone, I did have some issues getting into my apartment. I, uh, I have trusted my boss with my key. So I went over to his place to get the key so I can get into my apartment and see my cat and go to the bathroom unpack, not be in a car. And he wasn't there. He was working at the airport. Lynn was there, which is his girlfriend, and we were looking for my keys for a little bit. She, didn't, she knew I was coming in today, or she knew I was coming in that day, but didn't know when, and TL didn't tell her where he put the key. So, okay, well, I'll call him. Now, TL's the kind of person who hates cell phones. I mean, really, really, really hate cell phones. The only reason he has one is because Lynn bought him one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she called his cell phone and his cell phone was off. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, he's not going to be back until at least 4 o'clock. It's about 3 o'clock when I'm thinking this. So I call Bob. Bob has my spare key because he gave me the wrong key to get back into my apartment when I left. Um, called him, of course, he doesn't answer his phone, they found it later, he never got the message, because apparently he never actually set up his voicemail, so he doesn't know how to get into it. I just go over to the airport instead, I wait for about a half hour while TL comes out of the back room, no one told him someone was waiting, they just said, hey, can you come up front? So he had no idea I was there. So knew where the key was, I go back over to his place, um, 45 minutes later I have my key and I'm in my apartment. <laughs> About time. But yeah, Maven, cats aren't dead. In fact, they were shocked to see that I was still alive. They didn't, they had to check and make sure it really was me. Um, didn't have much to do today. I got my head bitten off at work by an angry customer because he was all the you guys were closed for four days and no one called me to tell me I could pick up my shirts. And I'm just going, I wasn't here for a week. Please don't yell at me, sir. I don't even know if the guy actually gave us a phone number to reach him at. Kara would be the one who would know that. Not to mention, the days we were closed with the Christmas and the weekend. He needed the shirts as Christmas presents. Wouldn't you usually come pick up stuff before Christmas? I mean, how many places are open on Christmas Day? Yes, I know there are less places, but it's a small town. Nothing's open on Christmas Day in a small town. Except for maybe gas stations. I don't know where this guy's mind was. But whatever. He took his shirts and stormed off. We'll probably never see him again. I don't have anything else to say. I'm tired. I've been up since 7.30. Tried to get up early so that I could do some exercise before work, which I succeeded in doing. It's just catching up with me now, though. So, I'm going to call this video good. And, oh! New Year's Eve. Well, we let me slide with Christmas Eve, so I would prefer you make a video for New Year's Eve. But, I don't think it's necessary. New Year's Day is an official holiday, so that one, fine. But, I don't know, I'm thinking New Year's Eve, you should. I'm not going to force it, but I'd, I'd like to see it. So, Stephanie, I'll see you tomorrow or next year.